Good afternoon. I am officially back in the classroom, if we haven't already communicated in some form or another. I returned last Thursday and I've been working with Ms. Mrs. Lorenzo and Ms. Garner to wrap up marking period three grades as we are now in marking period four. I have a PowerPoint that I'm about to show you to go over my expectations in this online learning format and to discuss the upcoming units that we have. How we're living in unprecedented times and the impact of this coronavirus can be both confusing and troubling. And if it wasn't for this virus, I would not be back in the classroom. All of my upcoming medical procedures have been canceled. Um, there are some days where it, all of this seems very you know, stressful uh, and handling the news to the work that's involved in this online learning, so on and so forth, but I'm really hopeful and I know that we can all get through this together, okay? So let's start the presentation. Okay, so in this presentation, I wanna go over what I expect, um, what the classroom protocols will be. I wanna review the grading policy and then I'd like to know what you need from me to be most successful. I understand the uncertainty and I just want you to know that I am committed to being responsive and we are all in this together. My main goal is to really simplify things for you and for your parents, okay? I am going to post every other day your agenda in the classwork section of Google Classroom. The stream section is only going to be used for general announcements. So if you look in the classwork section starting next week, okay, we're going to work on an even day schedule, and I'll talk more about that momentarily. You will see the date, and under that date is going to be your task or the agenda for the day. When I looked into Google Classroom, if things are just thrown up there, uh, I find it very confusing. So again, I wanted to simplify things and organize things for you. I'll be using email and phone uh, to contact you directly if I have an individual concern, but I'm going to try to limit the number of emails that you're getting as it can be overwhelming, okay? And then I'm also going to go to the school as I've received notice from BOCES, the print shop that my materials are in. So I'll be packaging those uh, within the next few days and looking to get those to you by the end of the week, okay? And these materials are going to be the materials until the end of the school year. As I personally feel that we're going to be in this online learning format for the rest of this year, okay? So why not plan for it? You can always bring those uh, assignments and workbooks, whatever we don't use, back to the high school with you. So by early next week, what are you going to receive on the bus? So I'm gonna send the Unit 9 materials, okay, which is Roots and Irrationals numbers, and um, the Unit 10 materials, which is Data Analysis. So I want you to work from these books only Okay, and I realize that you have the notebook, right, that we were working from in the building. But when you get these, don't throw the old notebook away. You'll st still need to reference that, especially in Algebra 2 and maybe next year in Geometry. So don't go throwing it away. I just wanted everything in these books that I'm mailing to you because I wasn't sure if students didn't bring their notebooks home. Okay, so I want you to work from these books. And if you didn't pick one up or don't have it, didn't bring it home with you, you'll also be getting a Regents Review book. So what I'd like you to do at the beginning of each even day, so day two and day four, I want you to get on to classroom under the classwork section to review our agenda for the day. It's going to be typical to what would we normally would do in the classroom. There's going to be notes, uh, a video for you to watch and take your notes. There's going to be some sort of practice. There may be classwork. There may not be. It may just be a homework assignment. 
And then I want you to contact me with any questions. Communication is key. I don't know how to help you or if you need help unless you reach out to me directly. Um, and if you have any assignments to turn in that were you know due that day or overdue, if you can still turn them in, I want you to turn those in. Now, online chats. Now, I've already done a Zoom chat. I think six of you attended, so great job. And I hope to get more of you participating in these Zoom chats. Today was just a social chat. Okay, we had lunch, talked about how things were going, how you'd like to proceed in moving forward with the class. I hope to, on the odd days, so after the even day in which you get your agenda, your notes and homework, I'd like to touch base online on odd days and actually answer some homework questions. Do some reteaching together, so work together out of that workbook on an assignment that I've put together, okay? So we'll be using the even days, you'll be on your own to watch your notes, do the homework practice, and then I'd like to come back together on even days to do some reteaching, some one-on-one -on -one helps, um, and do some online sessions to um, do some more practice. Okay, so just make sure you watch Google Classroom for those details. Okay, direct instruction. So I want to use this online format to answer homework questions, do some review and practice sessions, one-on-one um, -on -one help for you to individually, you know, get on with me and ask me specific questions, and just to maybe some social time again. And just to check in, see each other face to face, how are things going, um, and answer any general questions you have about anything. Okay? So let me show you some of the cool things I can do if you haven't already seen that uh, from home. And I'd like to take a quick moment to thank my husband, Brian Simons. Uh, he, video production is part of his job, and without him, I wouldn't be able to do all of the cool things I'm doing. So thank you, Brian. All right. So we have this uh, main screen, which I started with, that I can use to record some videos or some messages to you. We have a document camera. So using this document camera, just like the Elmo at school, I can use the calculator, I can use the book, so this is our next unit. I can work with you one-on-one, um, -on -one, and you can see this screen. I can also have this screen with me to the side, so you can not only hear me, but see me as well. And if that's too much, Mrs. Simons, I can put myself in the corner, okay? So I'd like to use this tool for some reteaching, uh, some group sessions to do some more practice together if you're struggling on your own, and um, possibly some videos and teaching some of the lessons. I can also show you my laptop, so if you need any help in doing some of the quizzes, assignments, I excel assignments, or help with things that I need the computer for, I could do that, okay? And I believe that is it. So let's go back to my PowerPoint. Yeah, some really cool things that I can do, and I'm excited, okay? Grading policy reminders. Um, I thought actually I updated this slide, but it's going to the next one. No, must be I didn't save it. Okay, but I'm not going to re-record the video, so I know it's small. Remember your classwork is 15%, and you can correct any classwork grade to get the 100. Okay, formative assessments are 33%, so that is a quiz. So any quiz uh, that we give you must be done on your own. Okay, and in order to do corrections on that quiz, you must have all of your homework done. And then summative assessments are 45%. Again, they must be done on your own, and you can do corrections on your tests as well if all of your homework is in. So it's very important to check school tool on those even days to see what your assignments are and get those done. And then we didn't do a quarterly assessment for marking period three, but we will do one for marking period four. And that's 15% of your grade, and that must be completed on your own. Now, I realize there's no Regents exam, which we just found out yesterday, but your Regents review books will be used, okay, for practice purposes. There will be 
possibly a final exam. So we need to use those books in order to prepare a review for not the regions, but a final exam which will contain questions from the regions. And there should be department office hours coming soon from the district. Okay, let me skip two slides. And I just want to finish by, you know, just telling you, you have to take breaks. Mrs. Simons has not been doing a good job doing that. I've really been working hard to just get my feet off the ground in this online learning format and I have not been taking breaks so I need to do that so I know how easy it is to just work 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 and not take breaks but it's important that we all take breaks okay but don't take too many breaks make sure you're staying on top of your classes because you are responsible for your own learning okay we are here to help you but ultimately it's you okay um, who's going to make the decision to get online and to complete those assignments. We need to finish the school year strong in order to be prepared, if not for this final exam, but for next year's classes, okay? Make sure you just always do your best. I am here to support you. Mrs. Lorenzo is here to support you. And remember, we will get through this, but you must take care of yourself, right, first before you can be productive in, in the areas of school, okay? So take care. I miss all of you, and it's been nice seeing some of you in the um, Zoom meeting that we had today. So make sure the next time I post one, you join us, or or and um, possibly set up a Zoom chat where you and I can chat one to one. Take care. Bye bye.